Warning, sexually explicit content ahead by a cloud chasing YouTuber who wants views. Whoa, Siri, don't even try violating me, all right? Any Muslim who is in a sexually active relationship or in a haram relationship overall will benefit from this video. Why bother SQ? No one even watches your videos anyway. Relax, Siri. We about to hit 100k subscribers soon, all right? We growing over here. Um, but most of those subscribers are purchased through a website. <laughs> Shut up, Siri. That's not even true. Receipt. February 13th. 10k subscriber package 500 US dollars. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I think that we've heard enough from you, Siri. Sorry about the glitch, guys. Email. Hair transplant clinic. Dear SQ. We are happy to schedule a hair transplant for your bald head. We understand how insecure you are. I hate you, Siri! I hate you! <laughs> That's what I thought, crybaby. Now that we got rid of that loser, enjoy the video. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just so thankful, grateful, and humbled that Allah sent you to this channel today. Today's another episode of Ask SQ in which you send me a DM through my various social media plugs and uh, I, I read your most personal questions live on my YouTube channel. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Today we have a question that will pretty much make you feel extremely uncomfortable Viewer discretion is advised. So basically, I'm in a FWB situation. What is that? Falafel with bread? No, brother. Friends with benefits. Oh, right, like benefits, like income support and like welfare? Nah, bro, them other type of benefits, not me. <laughs> Ew, first and foremost, don't wink at me because you look disgusting. And are you talking about the benefits like uh, 401ks, a pension program, and healthcare? You basically have a sexual relationship in a consensual manner. Say what? And I kind of have feelings for the guy. Time out. You mean to tell me that you caught feelings for the man after doing all this romantic stuff that only a husband and wife should be doing together? And you caught feelings for that? You broke the number one rule that you never catch feelings when you are doing a friends with benefits sort of routine together? Okay, okay Karen, Karen, you done, you messed, done up. messed up. I haven't done the deed yet. Just oral. And it was before Ramadan. All right, take it easy, haram police out there. You heard her, right? It was before Ramadan. And we know everything before Ramadan is forgiven. Any other time, you can't have oral with the other person. But uh, before Ramadan, as long as it's done before Ramadan, even the ulama have come together to agree that, hey, if oral is done before Ramadan, everything is forgiven. You have nothing to worry about, all right? So calm down out there. For real, though, I'm actually happy that your iman didn't allow you to cross certain limits. And that's a beautiful thing, but uh, putting a man's genitalia in your mouth, uh, that's pretty up there too. We still talk in Ramadan as friends because that's what we are. Honestly, this is like the best friendship ever. Here I am, like an idiot, trying to be friends with people who remind me to fear Allah, remind me of Allah, remind me of the Day of Judgment, encourage me to uphold the Sunnah. Like an like idiot, I'm missing out on all these opportunities to receive some oral from my friends. When we discussed the whole situation, he was fully aware that we may catch feelings for each other and wanted to be open and honest. I don't know what to do. Do. Look sis, it's obvious that you like this person, but here's the truth and I know it's gonna hurt. He doesn't feel the same way about you and he's just happy that he can get head from you whenever he wants with zero commitment. In fact, he feels like the luckiest man alive because he just hit the jackpot. Ching ching! He can talk to other girls while he uses you for like sexual stuff. You're looking for self-worth and self-love in another person and somehow the shaitan has convinced you that if you do whatever he wants you to do, not only will you make him happy, but you'll also seek his approval. Whoever loves you should love you for exactly who you are and if you have to change change yourself for someone else to be happy and so they can love you, then honestly, you're just selling you're out. Just selling if you're a parent out there, make sure that you're spending your time developing your child's self-esteem by telling them how special and beautiful they are. Because if you don't spend time doing that, there's going to be another person who steps in and does it for you. And then they'll probably try to put their shawarma in their mouth. Well, that was the video, guys. Tell me in the comment section below what are your thoughts about the entire situation and what advice would you like to give to this sister in the comment section below. And before you leave me, all right, I need you to make a sincere intention to uh, put your alarm and wake up for the hajjit and make a ton, I'm talking about a ton of dua for yourself, for me, and the entire ummah. Then after you're done doing that, read at least one to two juz of the Quran. And then after you're done reading that, please pick up a book and read the tafsir about what you just read. Then put that book down 
and smash this video with a huge thumbs up. I appreciate you so much for spending some time with me here today. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, click this video right here. And uh, if you are new to this channel, it'd mean the world to me if you subscribe by hitting this button right here. And until next time, I'm out.